I'm in one of my favourite places, Richmond, the biggest of London's royal parks and a fantastic place for wildlife. First stop, Bishop's Pond, which is normally great for amphibians and occasionally the odd grass snake. But in the mid-June sun, there's no pond here. It's totally dried out. are the tiniest, tiniest toads. Look at you. Apart from a few common toads, this year's for sure, and way too many leeches, there wasn't much to see at the pond. Lovely little toads. This is a longhorn beetle. Not sure exactly what kind. If you know, let me know. Looks like a wood mouse, or possibly a yellow neck has been under here. And eating nuts. Nursery web spider. That's where I'm heading. Pen ponds. Oh look, someone's hid their rubbish under a log. This really annoys me. The bad thing about bottles, especially glass bottles, is animals crawl into them. And then they can't escape as the glass is so slippery. Come on, just take your rubbish home. And yes, I did take this and recycle it. I'm just having a quick scan for grass snakes. They sometimes hang out at water level on the branches of this old tree. It's a black-tailed skimmer. That's a red kite being mobbed by crows. These guys used to be so rare, but have made a spectacular comeback. I thought it was a buzzard at first, but then it got a bit nearer, and I realised what it was. You can expect to see a few of these if you're driving out of London towards the West Country. But seeing one this far into town is pretty special. I've loved these birds ever since I saw one in Wales as a kid, back when the numbers were very low. Definitely one of my favourite UK birds of prey. Male tufted duck? The females don't have the white belly and sides. Mandarin and her chick. These ducks were introduced to the UK around 100 years ago, originally from Eastern Russia and Eastern Asia. That's the male over there with the white on the head and the orange neck. This is another great place for grass snakes. Spoiler alert, I didn't find any. Found this little guy though, a young smooth newt. I always put any creatures that I catch back in exactly the same spot that I find them. Back at Pen Ponds on the other side, here's some mute swans and coots with their chicks.
Here we have a common frog, as the name suggests, fairly common, also known as the European common frog outside of the UK. Buffo Buffo, a nice big common toad. Again, I'm putting this guy back in exactly the same place that I found it. Oh, we got something here. This is a field foal. I probably could have caught it, but I didn't want to risk it running out into the open grassland as there's a kestrel knocking about. Dear poo. And kestrels love to eat foals. Okay, so I've just run into this young deer. I'm gonna back off as quickly as I can. If you ever see a young or baby deer like this, the mother isn't far away. Don't assume that it's been abandoned. Just back off as quick as you can. And I was so busy trying to get away from it, I failed to film mum coming back. But welfare of the animal is far more important than video footage, so I'll forgive myself. 